Hello, my name is Chandrika. I'm here today to answer the question, why am I choosing to leave some money in my will to Dana Kosha Retreat Centre? And there's many ways I could answer that, but I think I'll start with the older that I get, the more precious life gets and the shorter it gets. So my attention naturally moves on to what happens afterwards and the idea of leaving something that will have a positive benefit in the future really does have an effect actually it's really um, reassuring in this lifetime and I can almost in my imagination feel something really good moving on into the future I've had a long association with Dana Kosha I've been coming here as a retreatant for, oh, a horribly long time, probably 28 years or something. And I've also, more recently over the last 10, 12 years or so, I've been involved in various ways, supporting the team here and as a trustee. And so I do feel qualified to talk a little about the magic and the effectiveness of Dana Kosha in the world. And... As I was driving here to come and do this, the word that was actually in my mind was sanity, actually. And there I am driving here to this beautiful place and it is the most stunning place. I'm driving out of the city and I'm driving into the most beautiful countryside. And I'm lucky today in that the light has been beautiful. The definition of the hills is exquisite, the sky, there's a range of colours and the natural abundance, even in the winter time, is quite stunning. So I'm taken with the beauty of the place and that's juxtaposed with what I'm hearing on the radio, what I'm hearing on the news and um, probably like most times in history there are things in the world going on that are very, very, very difficult. And actually, back to that word sanity, that's what came up, really. I'm going to this beautiful place, which is a, a haven of sanity in a crazy, crazy world. It's also a thin place. So it's a place where there isn't much separation between this world that we live in daily and the mystical world, the mythical world, the archetypal world, the world of the imagination and of spiritual transformation. So it's a very, very, very special place. And I know it in my own bones, in my cells, in my blood, in my body, the transformation that can take place in our life by coming here. Um, and I know it, you know, throughout the years, seeing it with other people, talking to other people about it. This is a place that people come to and they keep coming back to. It really has an effect. It really, really has an effect. A really, it's a positive force for good in the world. Um, and that's a big force for good. Although it's tucked away in the Scottish Highlands, the ripple effect is all over the world. People come here from all over the world <clears throat> and they open their hearts and their minds and they go back to wherever their living situation is with much more ability to move forward in their own lives positively, but also to interact with their environment, the people in their lives, much more positively. So this really is a place of transformation and it takes a lot. It takes a lot for this place to keep going in terms of the effort that the team puts in here, which is a tremendous amount of effort and care and attention to detail and vision and imagination and logistics and everything you can think of. And it also takes a lot of money. I'm a trustee. I know how much money it takes to keep this place on the road. And I am very happy to think that when I die, whenever that might be, that something will you know come out of my life to feed into this after I'm gone and interacting with that environment now but actually after I've gone that will continue I can continue to contribute so yeah it feels really positive 
it feels really good that I'm able to do this. And I would encourage anyone that is able to do this to perhaps consider a similar commitment. Thank you.